Cisco Social Miner includes a trainable filter capability. This feature uses a Bayesian statistical model, which you can train to identify which social contacts that you want to see in your campaign and which social contacts are filtered out of your results. Filters are applied at the campaign level and run against new social contacts as they enter the system. We suggest you become familiar with the basics of Cisco Social Miner functionality before you begin working with filters. You should also have a well-tuned searches before you begin to apply filters to your campaigns. You will need campaigns with results to begin training a filter. To begin using a filter, you must first create a new filter using the filter gadget. Simply name the filter and choose save. You can now begin to train your filter. You will want an established campaign populated with social contacts. Most likely, this is the campaign which you will eventually want to apply the filter to. However, you can train a filter using any campaign as the source data. Go to results and choose your campaign. To go into training mode, Click the settings and choose the filter that you want to train. Now you are in what we call training mode, and you will see some additional elements on the UI. You can use any of the standard campaign results features, including replies to social contacts while in training mode. But you can also train the selected filter. To train in a social contact, press the plus button. This tells the filter that the social contact is representative of what you want to pass this filter. To train out a social contact, press the minus button. This tells the filter that the social contact is representative of what you want the filter to reject. A basic use of filters is to filter out spam and pass the social contacts that are related to the intended campaign topic, but filters could be trained for any purpose, including sentiment analysis. For example, a search of Twitter for the letters UCCE will yield tweets about Unified Contact Center Enterprise, but will also yield tweets about a football league in the UK, as well as a garden club in San Francisco. These tweets are not spam per se, but they aren't the intended UCCE results. If you train out these social contacts, the system learns that certain text is more likely to be about gardening and football, and therefore will exclude these posts. The more you train the filter, the better the filter will perform, so it's important to do a significant amount of training before applying your filter. Also, you want to have a significant volume of both positive and negative examples to keep the filter from becoming too unbalanced. In order to quickly find good social contacts for training, you may even set up some feeds to capture posts that you are certain to be relevant or certain to be irrelevant, and then once you have your filter well trained, you can set up broader searches. Like a spam filter, these social minor filters will not be perfect and are best applied to campaigns with broad searches. For example, you will not likely apply a filter to a campaign for a Facebook fan page or comments to a Twitter account. However, you would apply a filter to a broad Twitter search. Once you have trained a sufficient number of posts, you can try applying your filter to a campaign. If you have an existing campaign that is in production, you may want to create a new test campaign. This might be a mirror of the production campaign. Let's create a campaign to test filter performance. You will apply filters in the same place where you apply feeds. This activates the filter. If you were updating an existing campaign, the filter would not be run against social contacts that were currently in the campaign. It would only run against new social contacts as they enter the campaign. 
If you created two campaigns with the same feeds, one with and one without a filter, you would see explicitly the number of social contacts being filtered out as they arrive in SocialMiner. This covers the basics of creating, training, and applying filters.